Hi everybody, I figured I would come on and show you something um, since I noticed it and I, I really caught on to the fact that if I do not um, show something right when I see it, when it comes to this particular thing, uh, it might not be there in the next week for me to show it. So, or it'll, I'll, I'll just forget about it and just not say anything about it, but not sure if you saw that when I was just sitting there, but I'm not sure if they'll be able to really see it. This little air ball that is just like hang in there like uh just hang in there little air ball you see it and um last time I had one of these after I washed my hair a few times, it traveled up the lock and like wrapped itself somehow in there and I didn't see it anymore. <laughs> so um, that's what's going on with that. And I just like let it do whatever it's going to do and try not to pay it too much attention to the fact that it's like dangling off the end of the hair. And I'm quite sure there's some somewhere else in here that I'm just not um, noticing. But I figured I would show that real quick. Um, something else that I wanted to mention was the fact that I put a few shows um, in my hair. I only put two in there so far. And I'm quite sure I, I tried using a little rubber band to put it on the end of my hair. And, um, I figured I'd probably be better off just squeezing it in there for a while with not messing with it. So I didn't use rubber band to put these in. Um, I actually just looped the hair around and um, then took the other end of the hair and put it inside the front part of the shell. So, um, and I, I basically chose these two just because they were in places that I could see. Whether or not anybody else actually likes um, likes the little shell, mm, not really worried about that too much because it, my hair going is more about me, not for that yet. Now that being said, that leads me into something that I've actually been um, actually been thinking about, and that is other people and how they are towards hair that is not even there. Like, I ran across a few different videos about people talking about just freaking out because somebody else mentioned cutting their hair off. And all I could think was, it's not your hair, why are you freaking out about it? And, um, I really have been thinking from that point about the fact that there were different times in my life that I felt like I was being pressured to do certain things with my hair just because somebody else felt a certain way about my hair. Like, there was actually a time that when I decided to have my hair natural that somebody on the job at the time when I was working in security that, um, in so many words, they were like, my hair was offensive to them. And I, all I could think was, like, you telling me that the stuff that's growing on my head is offensive to you in its natural state? That I need to do something chemically to my hair to make it look presentable so that you can relax? Are you kidding me? Well, that's a whole nother story with that, but, um, I just really have been thinking about that. Why is it that hair 
can be such a big deal to people that the hair is not even on. And this is not everybody, but there is like a group of people out there that fit in this category that they are like so fascinated with somebody else's hair that they have such a high opinion of what should be done with it that it can seem like they just haven't got a clue how they look while they're saying whatever it is they're saying or acting the way they act like there is just like they're just totally ignorant to the fact that they could really be offending somebody by what it is that they're saying now i don't have a problem with people being honest but there's like a line that, sh that, that i feel like needs to not be crossed when it comes to certain things and who uh i know somebody probably gonna be looking at me like she's crazy but i don't think that it's necessary to go up to some stranger that you don't know and ask to touch their hair or um tell them that they need a perm or uh say something that could be really ignorant towards them in their hair just because you you don't like it or because you got a problem with it and all i can think of is like what does my hair have to do with you why are you so concerned with what's going on on my head why Maybe, maybe that maybe I'm just ranting nonsense here, but I just don't get it. It, it just does not really make sense to me. If my hair is not funky, if my hair is not thinking, my hair is clean, and it is mine and this business on my head and not somebody else's, um, why should it be a problem and why should it be offensive? I don't know. You guys just let me know right, about and that. That leads me to this other thing, which, which I guess comes off that with the whole animosity towards somebody cutting off long hair or cutting their hair in general what is the fascination with long hair why is long hair so important to people or why is it so important to you or why do you have a certain length goal that you have what what is the thing with that like um is it because you can do more with it is it because you can pull it up in a ponytail is it because of what other people think about long hair that you want long hair um i'm just really curious what do you think about those um certain those certain things like um is hair is your hair something that's supposed to determine who you are or is it just an accessory to you uh i'm just curious what other people think about that the whole somebody else having an issue because of your hair Alright, I've rambled on enough. See you guys next time. Bye.